Hi, I'm Alex Ineco and this is Ekai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today's term is classicism. We're going to talk about the classical period. Remember that we have a full course on music history. Just click here. This is a quick reference guide, the Musical Encyclopedia, so it's just one minute, okay? Uh, dates for the classical period. Uh, we start in 1750. Remember that what came before the classical period was the Baroque period, which ends at the death of Bach, 1750. So that's where we start the classical period. And it ends with the French Revolution, but not obviously the day the French Revolution started. We take a few years after that, so we consider around 1810. So the dates for the classical period between 1750, the death of Bach, and 1810, the French Revolution. Um, uh, what comes before the classical period? The Baroque period. What comes after? The Romantic period. Both the Baroque and the Romantic period are full of emotion. So the main characteristics of the classical period in between those two emotional periods is exactly denying emotion. So it's very elegant and restrained and um, simple, okay? They love to respect the rules. They're very square. That's not bad, okay? They admire the Greek um, proportions, for example, because everything is very, oh, look, six columns, very organized, very balanced. They love balance, okay? Uh, this is the age of reason. Everything is very, wow. Um, enlightened, okay? Um, orchestra. The orchestra we have in the classical period is pretty much a small version of the orchestra we have today, okay? The instruments are almost the same. Uh, it's just a little simplified, but uh, it, uh, you, you have strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion, very similar to what we have today, just a smaller orchestra, okay? like uh, 30, 40 top, okay? That's a good, a good uh, size classical orchestra. Uh, the instruments are pretty much the same. As I said, the only, the only exception is with the, the brass because they didn't have valves yet, okay? So the valves are gonna be invented in the 19th century. Uh, and some names from the classical period we have, I always say, obviously, Mozart, that's the top one. And then we have Haydn uh, and Salieri, okay? That's a little bit about the classical period, just as a reference section. Uh, if you want to know more, click on this video here, and you have more than half an hour of uh, uh, lecture with musical examples and all, okay? Thank you very much. Have you subscribed to the channel?